And then suddenly there was malice, he was back, and you couldn't escape from his furious gameplay and his just aggressively average skills therein. So we're back, and as promised, we're gonna have some Slay the Spire now, because I adore that game, and it seems a good fit. So, let us fire it up like some kind of cannon. Ba blam Squeaky, squeaky chair. He said hi, and you should say hi back. One day I probably am going to have to replace my chair, and I think it's going to be quite a sad day. I think we'll all, we'll all miss old creaky chair. I'm also going to need to replace um, my keyboard, because this is my keyboard, and I'm going to need to get a new external hard drive. Oh my god. Whoever would have thought that financial expense was required to keep this thing going. Okay, so I need to adjust the visual settings, so bear with me just a moment whilst I do so. I believe it's this resolution. Ha! Squeeze, squeeze, squeaking, exactly. Uh, defect, yes, is the name. Now, unfortunately, that's not quite going to work out. Uh, for reasons you will soon see. So, uh, Malice may have made a slightly poor decision. Uh, and yes, the defect is my favourite too. In that, I've been obviously playing Slay the Spire a fair bit lately. Because I'm back into it again and it's fucking amazing. But um, I started a run just before I ate this evening, and it is not finished. As you can see, uh, well, you can't see at the moment, but you will in a moment if I do that. There we go. Damn, OBS, that's two games you can remember the source for. Amazing. So anyway, yeah, as you can see, I'm midway through a run, and I don't really want to abandon it because it's going moderately well, and you know. So we're going to jump into that and finish it. And if there's time, hopefully there will be, I'll start up a fresh one as well. Uh, so, here's where we are. We're right before the boss of Act 2. And my deck is very, very small because I've been uh, given a lot of opportunities to remove cards. And that's always good. So what we've got is uh, at every single regular strike is gone. I don't know how I managed to get that many of uh, those things, but uh, yeah. So it, um, the reason for that is I've gone for a very defensive uh, deck based around Juggernaut. So whenever you gain block, you deal damage out to an enemy. Which is amazing. Because suddenly your defend cards become better attacks than the strike cards. Hence why they're gone. Uh, Iron Wave in particular, very good with that as well. Because you gain block, you deal damage, and then you deal damage again. Uh, good card draw from Pummel Strike. Flame Barrier obviously fits perfectly in a defensive deck like this. Ste uh, body Slam upgraded to be cost zero, so you can block up and then punch somebody in the face. Um, flex, because it's just always useful for zero. Offering, because it's amazing for zero. And Power Through, because I needed a better defensive card, and it was the only one that's come up. And I'm, I was kind of hoping to get uh, Evolve, but I haven't yet. So the wounds are a bit of an issue. And this was what I transformed Bash into, because I got the option to do a transformation as well. I often don't use it, because I don't like to damage myself, but the option's there. So that's what I'm working with. Uh, you can see the relics I've obtained up top here. Uh, I need to rest, because otherwise I'm going to die against said final boss. Final boss. Second boss. And the Ironclad is, weirdly, I think, one of the harder ones to get a deck working for, because... I don't think his, like, his really amazing cards stand out as obviously as with the other two. But he does have some tricks, and this whole blocking for damage thing is definitely one of them. Anyway, jumping straight in with the boss fight. Oh shit. It is the champion. He's very, very angry, and he wants to murder you so horribly. So this is gonna, ah, uh, this is gonna work. We are gonna chuck up a flame barrier, badoosh, and then we can do nefarious things to his face. Get him with a pommel strike, ah, damn it. All right, I earned that. So I'm gonna use power through, get that 20 extra block, and then hit him for 46 with body slam. Not bad for an opening. Would you not agree? I'd say that I would. Yes, indeed. Also, I should mention that this is a thing. So I beat Ascension 3 in the intervening uh, days because... 
I think I won with a strength and heavy blade oriented deck. Yes, that is also one of his um, his best tricks, I think. Is the, the max strength and then whack things for hundreds of damage at a time. You do have to be careful not to overdo it, though. If you have too many strength buffing cards, you'll get screwed with a bad draw and then die. You've got to balance it carefully. But hey, if it worked, it worked. Anyway, sorry. Uh, flexing my moosles. I need them to kill you. Kill you good. This is actually a pretty good idea right now. Eep, though. I'm gonna take a whole bunch of damage directly to the face. Not a lot that I can do. You've never beaten the game of the Ironclad. That honestly surprises me. Damn. Well, this hit, this gives you some ideas of how to build a deck for him. Strength boosting stuff with Heavy Blade. And this work reasonably well. Oh. Well, Dix. He's not attacking now, so I can't even... I don't have Juggernaut up yet, so it's, it's actually pointless me playing any cards at all. Because, yeah, I could do 18 damage, but I would take damage for doing so, and I don't think I'm in a position to risk that. So I'm just going to move on without even taking a turn. It's at times like this, some of you might wish that I had face cam. I'm doing a ridiculous kind of robot hand dance to that. But, you know, the evidence is uh, largely overrated. So there's Juggernaut. So now every time I gain block of any kind, seven damage is dealt to a random enemy, which, when you're only facing one enemy or a boss, is... Fucking amazing! So let's use some of that power, shall we? I might need to kill you. Who am I kidding? Might. Ha! Uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll take the 12 damage there. That's fine. And then we'll bloody slam for two, which gets buffed to five, thanks to this relic, which I think is relatively new. It's it's the Karibo shoe, slash Goomba shoe from Mario 3. Because this game is packed with gills with references, as we know. And all of them are such fun. Excuse me. I don't believe I've ever done the, the naught cost defect deck. I never tried it. I've done a lot of different things with him. But generally the most success I have is either super frost heavy. Or frost lightning sort of evenly balanced with each other. Everything else tends to fail because you don't have enough of either damage or defense to get shit done. The boot is quite old. Alright, well, it's new to me. <laughs> because I do not remember ever seeing it before. Also, we're going to want some of this. And we're going to want some of this. Blam, blam. 12 damage out of that now. It's pretty sweet and murder will occur. Maybe. Hope so. Now, see, what's good about... Okay. Normally, this hand would be kind of shitty. Because I'd be like, okay, great. I won't take any damage. But I'm not doing anything either. But, every time I gain block, he takes seven damage. So, seven. Fourteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-eight. Thirty-five. And not taking any damage. Like, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> It is essentially ensuring that I'm always doing damage, which is very handy. Anyway, speaking of which, we should attempt to not die here. Oh, shit. Hmm. Problems arising because that is 14 damage. Shit, fuck. Now I have to hmm, 20 damage for two. Doing it. Taste my blood! I'll use it as a weapon against you! I don't even know how that functions. Like, even if you have control of your blood, you know, like, psychokinetically or whatever, how are you weaponizing it? It's a liquid. <laughs> Come on. What in the hell are you even doing? I don't know. I should still be able to win this, provided that I don't get fucked on this next round. Because this is his big scary attack. And he is rocking 12 stra- Okay! Well, that's, that's a large number right there. 
That could be a problem. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! I might die. Just a fair warning. Alright, so... He's doing 44 damage. I can get... 36 block. No, I can't, because I can't cast both of those. Ah, oh, fuck. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I think that's the end of the run, because I cannot muster up that much block. It's not doable. The most I can get is 25, which does not save me. Ironically enough, though, it's only just enough to kill me. Because if I got the 25 block, that blocks the first hit. And then the second one is 19 to 17 health, so... No, wait, hang on. Yeah, no, that is, yeah, that's right. Oh, for the sake of two, right? That is grade A bullshit. Oh, well. Dick balls. Nah, there's nothing I can do. So I might as well just fucking own it. Ha! I'll go down swinging. Ow! Alright, well that was short-lived. Alright, so I guess we've got uh, we can start a fresh run. That's fine. That's good. It's magnificent. The irony of that whole experience really is stunning. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to... I'm going to see what the daily climb is, because I do like these. They're like challenge modes. They add little modifiers to me uh, mix things up. Ooh. So you can also, um, this mode, the custom mode, is relatively new to me as well. Um, where you can manually set the uh, modifiers that show up in those daily climbs. And they recently added the ability for you to just pick three random ones uh, to simulate um, a daily thing on the floor. I think, anyway, I can't actually see how you would do it. But anyway, yeah. So that's cool. Sounds a bit like the Overlord theme. They just added the custom mode like four weeks ago. Wow. That was good timing for me to get back into the game then, really, wasn't it? Also, I strongly suspect that this gentleman, whoever you say that, is cheating. Because that score is so far beyond everyone else's. It seems unrealistic. Hmm. Please do a one-hit wonder run. I mean, I could, but it would be very short and boring, I expect. Oh, can I... D Where's the thing to do random one? Now, oh, yeah, there we go. Daily mods. Embark on a run with exactly three random daily mods. That's what I want to do. Because I don't like the three it's got in the actual daily climb. But I will use the defect. And I'll put it on the highest level of ascension that he has got to. Which is eight. It's pretty hard. Doink. Let's do it. See what we get. We have got Cursed Run. Whenever you defeat a boss, become cursed. Your starting relic is oh, that's a problem. Is replaced with Cursed Key, Darkstone, Periapt, and Duval Doll. Okay, so that's bad because now I don't chal uh, channel an orb straight away. Hmm. The map only contains one path. Well, that'll save some deliberation time at least. And enemies drop 200% more gold, but you cannot upgrade cards at rest sites. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. These are all terrible, and I hate everything about this. All right. Well, let's fucking do it. Defective I am. Oh, shitty, shitty balls. At least I get four energy to play with, so... Chuck some lightning around and punch some face. No, it will be totally fine. Just watch me. Just watch me rock this. Because remember, I'm getting four energy all the time. And that's a pretty big advantage, actually. And the disadvantages of the cursed key won't start kicking in yet. So I'm kind of getting away with murder. But yeah, basic stuff. Just punch this bird asshole to death. With my robo fists! Which, by the way... I noticed recently had their sound effect changed from kind of the sword slash sound that the, the other two characters have on their strikes to more of the punchy one, which would make sense. Because he's using his robot fists. As opposed to his laser fists. 
All right, and then let us see. So I like sweeping beam as just card draw. Card draw is always incredibly valuable. Leap though is very good as a not die card. And those are always valuable too. I think I'm going to go with that. Let's preserve our robot life as best we can. Oh God! I very well might die, but if I do, I'm taking you all with me. <laughs> Especially those blobs there, over there, stupid pieces of shit, don't know why they even exist, punch them good, oh no, taking damage, holy fucking shit. So uh, I start out damaged, that's the condition of Ascension 6, and everything else is just making life harder, as you'd expect. Blam blam! 16 damage for your little slimy face. Oh, also, <laughs> before I forget, let's go ahead and update the uh, the fucking dashboard with the right game. There we go. It's important to me that I do that, and as I'm sure it's important to others too. Oh fuck yeah! So this is amazing, brilliant, awesome, super goodness, and I'm taking it. I don't give a fuck. It just makes all your orbs better. There's no reason not to want it. Alright. So this guy is relatively new. Again, from my experiences only. You can either give him a potion that you have. It picks one of them at random, I think. Give him a, a chunk of money. Or give him a card. Which I'm not fucking giving him that. I tell you. To get a relic. Or you can attack him, which just does nothing. Makes him run away. I'm going to give him my money, because it's probably worth it. Uh, yeah. Probably is. Provided I can add some more powers. We shall see. We'll find out. Together. Defragment my orbs at some point. Indeed. Don't read too much into that. Punch. Use as many defend cards as I had. Still gonna take the seven damage, because there was fuck all I could do about it. Oh, there's Defragment. Great. I might as well set it up. Get some health back from that as well. Punch! Well, you say that, Lightning. The trouble I have with genetic algorithm is... It's annoying. Like, any battle that you don't get to use it mean, feels like you wasted your opportunity and to make it better for later. And it's a once-per-battle thing. Don't get me wrong... <clears throat> Once you've uh, established its defense up a bit, it's an incredibly effective panic button. But, on the other hand, eh. I feel like there are there are more use of, uh, usable defensive cards than that. I mean, it's not bad, I just... I, I struggle with it for that reason. I'm probably... Underselling it. Alright, we need some way to channel more orbs. So a cold snap makes sense. Plus, frost orbs are great because, yeah. Also, I think I can pin down the exact reason that uh, the defect's my favourite character and possibly the reason it's other people's as well. It's because his orbs kind of ignore the rules. Because they can't be affected by debuffs in any way, so you've got guaranteed amounts of damage and or block that you can account for, always. And just get round that shit. And stuff like thorns, or... fucking, uh, that snake plant, which generates block as you punch it harder. It won't get that from the orbs, so... Yeah. That's a part of it, I think. Breaking all the rules. Making others cry. Blah. Blah. Oh no, 8 damage. However, will I cope? Not sure that I will. How about how do you... Oh crap, I haven't actually hit him for his curly bullshit yet. <laughs> Technical terms all. Uh, so what, that's 16, so I could kill him, but it would require all 3 attacks to do it. Probably still worth it to prevent the damage. And then 1 block to... Uh... Yeah. We'll just have to live with that. Yeah, likewise here, with the with the curl-up ability. 
being hit by a lightning orb, or a dark orb if I had them, does not make him do this curl up, so he kind of gets around the rules of the game a bit. I don't know if that's a good thing in terms of balance or not, but it's definitely a thing that exists. And we will have to deal deal with it as best we can. Ow. How about you go fuck yourself? Takes my nine damage twice. Easy. Easy! I mean, level one, right? Okay, so I I would say we are being given a golden opportunity to build a frost-based deck here with this magnificent piece of kit. Boink. Frost, frost decks are good, and they're kind of easy because they kind of just generate all the block you could ever need by themselves. Provided you get all the right tools. Blizzard is a fantastic card to get as well uh, for that. So, this is a Lagavulin. We all know how this works. I'm going to spend some turns building up my orbs. So I'm ready for when he wakes up. You don't have to wake him up straight away. You can bide your time a bit. Not a huge amount, admittedly. Because once you start throwing lightning orbs out, they damage him for you. But... Uh, well, we'll get the defragment out. I'm going to need that anyway. We'll get a zap out. And then throw out the glass here. That should do, actually. Because that... Sets me up nicely to get started, and still doesn't wake him up. And then hopefully dual cast in this next draw. That'd right, be nice. If you could do that. Oh, fucking golden. Zap zap, motherfucker! <laughs> Alright, good. So I couldn't really have asked for much more out of that one. Also, let me know, uh, re the audio balance as per. It should be fine, but you never know. All right, then Glacier gives me power over death. See what I mean about that? I haven't used a single defensive card yet, and I'm already not going to take any damage. This is how Frost decks break the universe. I mean, I've generated orbs to cause that to happen, but, you know, fucking whatever, mate. <laughs> so, like, if I do this, followed by this... I'm suddenly not taking any damage again. Whack. Once you've got Frost Orb generation, usually with Glacier because it's just, you know, so good, you can get away with fucking murder. Not that this is going to help me at all right now, but, you know, fucking whatever. <laughs> I will be immune to your bullshit. Oh no, my strength and dexterity are down. My orbs give no fucks about this. Zero fucks. Zero, I say. Oh, look at that. I've got enough block to not even care, and then some spare. <laughs> yes, my power is maximum. You can't touch me. Can't touch me anymore. Alright, so that's going to be eight, and then that's fucking maths. Eleven, fourteen, so I'm going to need one more. And then that's fifteen, eighteen. Alright, this time, I do need to do some stuff. Still not taking any damage. Still did a fair amount to him. Everything's pretty sweet. Oh my fuck. Now to murder you. And not quite dead, but he will be. This next turn, if I draw literally anything that isn't defensive, he is the fucked. And he's the fucked. Whack! <laughs> Sorry. Not necessary at all. Alright, do love the old singing bowl because so many times you get um, uh, worthless cards and you can just be like, hey, I have some max HP instead. Which is way better. Case in point, I don't really like any of these, at least not what I've got right now. I haven't got bonus energy generation to make that easy to just use and then keep it rolling. Uh, this is, as far as I can tell, fucking garbage, because you should never mix up your orbs that much. Maybe I'm wrong. And this, useful, yes, but only if you've got a means to get more slots first. Is anybody still here? I mean, you're all very quiet, that's certainly true. Twitch says there are seven viewers at the moment. So for those of you not chatting, enjoy your lurking and enjoy the game in progress. Ha! 
Anyway, I'm going to take the HP because uh, more health is never bad. Pretty much ever. Okay. What you got for me? Another defragment on sale. Sold. I don't need any more convincing than that, really. Let's see. Recursion is good, but because I'm not going to be able to upgrade cards at rest sites, I'm not going to be able to get the best of it. You're right, Jay, there is, but it's... I don't... Excuse me. Jesus, sorry. As I said before, carbonated beverages. Um... Yeah, I just... I don't like... Diverting, uh, diversifying your orbs that much. I feel like you should have either just one type or two. More than that, you start to push it, I think, because you can't reliably do stuff you need to do. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, without the ability to upgrade this easily, you lose out on its strongest um, ability, which is it makes it cost zero. So you can just evoke an orb for free. But with it costing one, it's probably not worth it, given that dual cast costs one as well. And can be made to cost zero. So we're going to ignore that. I'm going to instead use my money to remove a card. And because we're mainly going ice. I guess defense is kind of the thing here. So what? Well, I've got a leap. I'm going to take out a strike. It's always a safe bet to do that, I think. Alright. Dungeon rings. Moving on. What else you got for me? A whole heap and shit of blobs. I'm going to fuck them up. I'm going to kill them. So, which one makes the most sense to start on? Probably the middle one. Not for any particular reason, just because I felt like it. Nah, ha ha ha! Cretinous oafs. Dare try and harm me. Fuck you right up. I'll do it. See, I've, I've tried to incorporate... Um, Dark orbs and plasma orbs into existing decks that were already running uh, heavy lightning and or frost. And you just, you fuck yourself. You make it too hard to get what you need when you need it. Such is my experience, anyway. Yours may differ. It is true. I might need to dual cast that to not take some damage this round. Hold on a sec. Bop. Oh, hold on. Uh, how much would I be... T okay, so that's fucking 22 as it currently stands. I kill him, then it goes down to 16. So I'll be taking 11 if I kill him. And if I dual cast the orb, I'll get 14 more block, making 19, so I'll take 3. That makes more sense then, doesn't it? It may have been better to go after the one with the debuff attack, as next turn he's more likely to do a standard attack, which you can then deny. I mean, you're not wrong, but it didn't really work out that way anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Blah. I need to wait for Glacier to show up. There it is. <laughs> because why waste time? And we do that. So now I'm getting 11.15, which is enough to not prevent all of that, even if I kill this one. But I'm going to do it anyway, because we need to start somewhere and, you know, a little bit of damage can be accounted for. Ooper fucking garb. All the Ooper garbs are everywhere today. It's, it's one damage. Who gives a fuck, right? There are only blobs anyway. Fuckers. All right, let's start throwing some more shit around. So if I throw more at him... Oh, that's kind of annoying, actually. So I wanted to get my lightning orb in position for this, but no. Hello, Mr. Chaotic Claw, and welcome. A belated welcome to the Midweek Mala Stream, where we're doing a, uh, a modifier run using the new custom mode. I didn't select these. They were selected at random, and it's looking like it's going to be pretty vicious. So what we got? We got 16 coming in now. So yeah, I don't need to use this. I just do that, and I can punch this one to not quite death. Fucking whatever. We're doing fine. I won't take damage from you. You're all a bunch of worthless fucking slimy bastards. I'll murder you real good. Yeah, see, this, this is the me saying nope to damage run. <laughs> This is how many fucks I do not give. It's quite a lot of those. 
You're here now, and that's what counts, indeed. Although, I might not be able to go for too much longer. So it's, it's going to depend how this run goes, really, isn't it? So, let's do the one of those. Get all the block we could ever want. Set up some more lightning, and... Punch! And then just play the waiting game where they flail pointlessly against my impenetrable ice wall. <laughs> Fools! I'll crush them good. Like this. And then we'll just do a little punch there. That should, that should do it, actually. I don't think I need to do anything else that requires my brain. What would be really nice is to get the bronze scales relic so that enemies are taking damage when they hit my impenetrable ice walls. But you can't do everything. Zap. Sorted. Whoops. Oh, dicks. Well, I didn't mean to do that, as I'm sure you can tell. I think there was, uh, there were better cards on offer there, and I accidentally double-clicked, because I'm so used to clicking on the gold first, and then the card. Ah, shit. I mean, Charge Battery is a good card. I like it a lot, because it lets you, um, preserve energy on the turn when you get a, uh, a load of defensive cards you don't need. Um, but, yeah, I would rather have seen what the others were and made an actual decision. Anyway, we're going to get cursed now. Boop. With regret. I regret nothing. So that powers up the Duvu doll. So we have one additional strength. And we gained 6 HP because of the Darkstone Peliapt. And if I were to remove the curse, that won't change. This will, but that won't. So that's pretty neat. Anyway, let's fight these ass clowns. Frost deck kind of laughs at these guys, though, which is always good. Provided you can get it running. As it stands, I am going to be taking some damage. Ouch. Partially from that. No Rugrats, indeed. Keep those little pricks out of here. <laughs> well, although, weirdly, I did used to enjoy that show quite a lot. It was weird. Okay. So... More defrag. Just so I'm fully ready for when the opportunity arises. No orbs yet, though, which is far from ideal. Let's get them quickly as we dare. Which is pretty damn quick. Yeah, that'll do ya. So, whack. Whoosh. And now I don't... Need, this is a perfect example of what I was talking about. I don't need any more block, because between these two orbs, I've got plenty to, def to defend against that. So this is where charge battery is perfect. It means that one energy will be preserved to the next turn instead of wasted. Charge battery, of course, becomes useless when you have the ice cream relic, but it's so, you know, it's rare and powerful, so... Not really something to worry about just at the moment. So yeah, now I've got five. And... oh. <laughs> And the game said, fuck you, Malas, and gave me nothing to work with. Yes, Commander Trev, there was, and I actually weirdly enjoyed that one, too. Just just for the novelty value, I suppose, of seeing the same characters you know, entirely different, but not really. So I could use my Swift Potion here, just so I can use that energy. I think I will. Wow! What a draw! Amazing. I mean, it gets rid of some of the, more of the dazed cards, but fucking hell. <laughs> Come on, RNG. Work with me here a little bit, would you please? Well, shitty balls, fuck you, game you make me hate you a whole bunch. See if we can throw some lightning at the problem, solve it that way. Okay. Still, I'm doing fine. Mainly because of my awesome Frost Orb power. It's just that good. Although not being up, up not being able to form coherent sentences is a problem. But I was actually going to say, not being able to upgrade cards readily is going to make them not quite as good as they could be. Because then I'd be able to get four focus and have my orbs do six block. And um, seven damage slash twelve. Uh, fucking twelve, yeah. Twelve damage. Right. Bung that out. Now we're all good. Don't need to worry about playing these. Play the charge battery and go fuck yourselves. None can escape my impenetrable ice wall. It's a barrier to entry and to you too. 
Oh. <laughs> well, okay, fuck you too, game. At least I got charged battery again, but still, dick move. Double dick move with that. Oh, I need to get rid of it. It sucks. Hatred for your curse, you dick. Bag. Oh, no. Please kill the one that's nearly... Oh, of course not. RNG! Fine. Impenetrable barrier says, fuck you! <laughs> Nothing touches me. I am untouchable. I am unstoppable. I am unbreakable! Ha! That, that might do it. Because with this here... No, it's like five dicks. Well... Can't touch this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Can't touch this. In before my ice wall falls apart. Just kidding. It never will. <laughs> Alright. So, I don't really need any of those now. So, HP it is. Moving on. And because I can't fucking upgrade my cards here, I guess I'll rest. Because I'm going to have fucking options. <laughs> Beautiful gonna make those rest sites a lot less valuable than they are normally let me tell you also I hate this guy and I want to kill him I want to kill him dead they do so much damage for just like piddly little thief guys I mean you know not a problem for me and my awesome frost wall deck but even so kind of a dick ha and then you just charge battery I don't need anything else do I because fuck you. I hope that you die. And you get the fucking plague. Looter. Oh no. These card draws, though. Fucking dreadful. Ouch. I really need to get to another merchant to get rid of that. The one strength is not worth the pissing about that it's causing. Let's be fair to ourselves here. Well, he's dead now. Problem solved. Blarg to you. Okay, so this is actually a choice. I don't... <clears throat> excuse me. I don't really like this simply because it's a cost two. Which is a lot to invest in something that might not help you because... I mean, it's got to stick around for you to use the energy. You've got to get good draws. And it by itself doesn't actually do anything to help you win the battle. You see what I mean? Try not to rationalise it, Trev. <laughs> I, I guess the idea is you're just remembering a decision you made. Or... No, I'll tell you what it is. It's, it's the regret of not playing the cards that you have left, I think is the idea. They've got to, they're going to make it work somehow. Anyway, uh, this I don't really like because it seems better than it really is. Doubling your energy is great and all, but only if, you, only if this card doesn't cost anything. But it does. So, best case scenario, you go from three energy to four. Now, granted, because of this, that's technically not true. But even so, extra card draw on a power, and I've got a relic that works with powers, makes more sense. See, there is method to the stupid things that I do. Unfortunately, now I have to waste this. Largely. But hey, here's a merchant. Let's solve some problems together. Right. Da -da -da -da! <laughs> so this card is fucking awesome. Doubly so in a run where I can't readily upgrade my own cards. A ba bam. I fucking love Apotheosis. It's even better if you upgrade it, because then it goes down to cost one and becomes retardedly good. But yeah. Alright, what else we got? So I can afford either a card remove or one of the relics. Or one of the cards. I don't... This is only really good if you've got tons of lightning to throw out. Uh, a lot. And I only have one source of it at the moment. So yeah, card removal I think is the way to go. Let's just get rid of this garbage. Bye bye now, regret. I regret nothing any longer. See, I still get to keep the bonus health it gave me. I think. Wait. Hold on a second. Hold on uh, a fucking minute here. 
Oh, wait, no, I know what it is. It's the singing bowl. I've got more from that. He starts at 70, not 80. Never mind. Great. I'll rest for all the no health I need. Yes, lightning. Uh, dark orbs do work very well with multicast. You are correct. All right. First boss, then. This dickweed. <sighs> now, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, Malice, you should play your two defragments immediately. That would be awesome to set you up for later. Hear me out. I'm going to wait for apotheosis so that they're both better. Yeah. Brainium, you see? Got one. What's that bite me in the ass now? What's that happen? Watch this guy fucking destroy me because I didn't get those early enough. <laughs> Very likely. Don't you? No, don't you see? I mean, this is going to hurt a lot right now. Give me a lot full health. Probably should have thrown the weak potion at him. Oh well. Too late now. There it is. Foo ha ha! Now everything is upgraded. And now also fuck you. How about that? You entire bag of dicks floating there. You think you're so great because you're on fire. That is not how life works. Boop. I mean, yeah, I really don't have anything to worry about now. I don't even need to use these, because I've got all the block I could want right now. I will anyway, because I'm not preserving my energy in any other way. Ha 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 ha, fuck you. <laughs> oh, the hex a goose can go fuck itself. It can't stand up to my awesome power. Watch him crumble into dust, then cry a little bit too. Even though he's got no eyes with which to shed tears. <laughs> there you go. Now we're talking. Look at this shit. Look at it. I don't even need to use this. I don't need, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do that. Fuck you. Hexagoost. You are a worthless pile of garbage. I will crush you. Oh, yes, I'll crush you today. You don't think that I will, but I will. Oh, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing when a frost deck comes together, because it's so powerful. It just means you just don't take damage. It's not a thing you do. It's a thing... Of majesty. They are, you need to give a fuck. I can start taking defense out of my deck now if I want. If I get the opportunity to do so. Because seriously, fuck this guy. Boop. You cannot touch. You cannot touch this. Observe my nearly 50 block. <laughs> I mean. It's not without its flaws. The downside of a frost deck is it doesn't do a lot of damage. It kind of just relies on grinding your enemy to death by not taking it yourself. So there are some enemies and bosses that will make that more difficult for you. However, if you get the card Blizzard, you immediately solve that problem and don't give even the slightest bit of a fuck. So that's nice. Let's just hope I get that. Because if I don't... Yeah, it might die to some of the things that escalate their damage very quickly. Uh, like the big head guy in Act 3, that would be a problem. But you know what? I think we're probably going to be okay here. Simply because I still have my lightning orbs. Uh, is it worth doing 9 damage or getting more energy for next turn? Probably the damage at this point, actually. Okay, look, I got 42 block without even trying. So how about go and die in the fire that you're made of? <laughs> it's an option. Punch. Uh, do I need to use this to prevent all these? Because that's 12 right there. Uh, in, that's those two. No, no I don't. Lightning deck is more probably more fun than the frost deck just because it does stupid amounts of damage. And makes a lot of noise, which is weirdly satisfying. But, uh, yeah, this this is uh, it's going pretty well right now. I cannot be stopped. 46 block, just casually. Pull it out of my arse. 
You can't stop me. That was a sentence. And there's some more lightning to make life a bit easier. And just all the block. All of it. 50 block. That. See, I, I really didn't need to heal before this, did I? Oh. Okay, well that's, that's a bad draw. Might not matter, but it is a bad draw. Never mind. <laughs> Got him before the burn's even triggered. Fuck yeah. Oh, that, what, did, what just happened? I got a curse, didn't I? Why did I get a curse? Right. I haven't actually opened the chest yet. So why did I get a curse there? Um, I have some questions. I haven't opened the chest yet. These are just the rewards from killing him. So what the f for cannons? Uh, well, see, this is very good with this kind of deck. It just plays into what it already does a lot of very well. Plus it's a power, which works with this. Yeah. Yeah, I need, a, I need a fucking panic button. Yeah, see, here's the chest, so I'm going to get another curse now. Or not? What is what is going on here? All right, well I'm taking the lizard tail because it's amazing. I picked up the potion, yeah. So yeah, apparently what it's done there is it's just given me the curse before it was supposed to. I don't, I don't fucking know. I have noticed a bug or two in this uh, in this more, more recent times, so that might be it. Did you forget about the modifiers? I didn't. Oh. 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 Yeah, no, I'm with... Yeah, because this doesn't happen for boss chests. But that happens when you kill them. Alright. Hands up. That was me. That was me being a dumb pants. Occasionally it does happen. It's rare, but it does happen. Try not to think about it. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's rein it in a bit. I forgot that it also gave you a curse when you killed a boss. Look, it's not my fault. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, more card draw. Always fun. And yeah, just punch for no reason. It's not going to break through his blocks. So who the fuck cares? It was, a, it was a punch of bad manners at that point. Oh, Hooper Garb. There we are. That's what I wanted. Now I can do everything. Or not quite. But you know, still quite a lot of things. Aha! I'm only gonna take four damage, that's nothing. I mean hell, I can get half of that back with me beard faced in. Once I draw my other defrag. Which I won't, because I've already used them both. Oops. Alright, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. Uh, 16 that's 21 exactly. Lovely. Punching. Punching occurs. Killing you is just what I do. Regularly. Was that a word? We just can't be sure anymore. Oh, loop that garble, and you know it's what you must do. It is so much fun to do it. It's your only faced bird. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Or my Ernie faced Bert, perhaps. Yeah. Jokes. Does that even qualify as a joke? I'm not sure it does. Does shooting lightning out of my hands qualify as a joke? Because it probably should if it doesn't. Maha! The impenetrable ice barrier persists. And nothing of value was even lost. Punch. Nice fucking whatever. Just bring it, mate. I got 40 block. Ask me how many fucks I give about your 14 damage. I'll give you a hint. It is a small number. It is infinitesimally small. I like your penis! <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh boy! I think Miles is, is losing his uh, losing his marbles a bit here. <laughs> okay. 
Moving on. Um, I like self repair, but I don't think I need it. And th ooh, that might not be a terrible way to get some extra block. Yeah, no, with my frost, I don't need it. We'll take. We'll try and keep card bloke down as much as possible. Given I've only got the one route, I'm not going to have the option of going, oh, there's a merchant there, I'll have that. That's just not going to happen. Well, I don't think I could have asked for a better opening hand than that. That was absolutely stunningly, amazingly good. Everything I needed right there immediately. I love it! And now to murder him with extremes of prejudice. Murdering's fun. All of the time. Holy, holy bombs. Oh, hang on a sec. One of those. Just fucking play all the things. I don't know. I don't need to think. Big money, big prizes. Indeed. I do have a lot of cash, actually. If I come across a shop again, I'll be very happy. But until then, I must make do. With what I have. Which is uh, block everywhere, always, permanently. <laughs> I won't be stopped. I won't be damaged. Not by cretins like this guy. Whack. Uh, let's just do that out of spite. Let's do that out of spite. And then there. With the naught cost deck card bloke, doesn't matter. I mean, again, you're not wrong. I've just never had the opportunity to try it. It feels like you need all the necessary pieces for it to work properly, and I never like taking risks like that. Because if you pick up one and then you don't get the rest, you're just fucked for the rest of the game. There we go. Killed him. Don't need any of those. More health, please. Just gonna power the hell through. Okay. Well, that's gonna be calling for that. Get a lightning. Get one of them. That should cover me. I am in love with the Nort cost deck. I mean, yeah, I got that impression. Not gonna lie. It was clear from the outset. Can't say I blame you. Apparently it's very good. Not that I know. As I said, I haven't actually tried it for myself. Punch. Yeah, definitely need to kill the bird first here because it buffs itself over time a lot more quickly than he does. That went south for the ball enemy very quickly. Yes, it did. South to the South Pole with all the ice I'm carrying around. It's, it's, it's a joke, you see. It's, never mind. I'm a kill him. It's all that I need to accomplish my nefarious fucking goals. See, being able to block without having to use cards for it is hilarious. <laughs> mm, oh, yes. Ha! Now, I can't quite get the lightning orb up front. That's a shame. Hold on a second, though. It doesn't kill him. Uh, do I need to use this? I actually do. I probably didn't, now I think about it. Oh, well. Fuck it. <laughs> yes, I could imagine. I mean, if they're all naught cost, yeah. I'll have to try it sometime. Usually I make the decision about what kind of deck I'm going to aim for after the first couple of cards. Maybe after even the first card that I draw, uh, that I get from an enemy, so... Yeah. Punch. Punch. I don't need to give a fuck about you. I kill you. I laugh too. The only trouble is, yeah, not really getting many attacks to throw at him. Which means this is going to take time. Until I get Blizzard, which hopefully I will. Because Blizzard does damage based on how many Frost Orbs you, you channeled in the battle. So, with the deck I currently have, that'll escalate very quickly. And I will not be playing these two, because I'll just generate more Dazed cards, and I don't want that. Clear this enemy is hampered by his Feathered Straitjacket. I think those are meant to be his hands. The Feathers, at least. Eh. Yeah. And uh, one of them, and fucking, do I need anything else? 24, nope. Murdering him with the greatest of ease. 
And in fact, that's in Dunyan Rings, I think. Yeah, with the lightning that I'm now going to channel. Zap. He did, fool. Oh. Uh, no, I kind of like those potions. I'll get with them. Do like Turbo, especially... Oh, it's already upgraded. Holy shit. Although, this would help solve the damage problem, because that's just 12 damage I can chuck out. I'm going to take that. Progress will be made at the expense of people with feathers. Oh, yes, indeed. Meanwhile, in another universe, these chuckle fucks started to exist. And Malice was very unhappy about it. Because Malice doesn't like these guys. So I'm going to use a potion just for fun. Oh, well, that's helpful. So this potion gives you three skill cards. You pick one, and then you get that card for this battle, and it costs zero the first time. But these are X-cost cards. So the fact that they would cost zero doesn't work. So I guess I have to take this one and generate myself some orbs right now. Um, so, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah, it's one random orb. Fine. Whatever. And yes, this fight is an absolute pain in the backside. Depending on what kind of cards, uh, what kind of builds and character you have, it can be made less obnoxious, but it's pretty obnoxious. Because this bitch just keeps healing them both. You need to murder her. Do it. Use it. Alright, so one of them, and then we'll go for a barrage. Just do a bit of damage there. I feel like I needed more cards that did damage. Just in the interest of not, this not taking 17,000 years. Hooper fucking garble. Ooh. Ooh. Now. There's a thought. So let's chuck that out. If I dual cast now, she's taking 36 damage, which means death, I think. Or very close to it. Boop! That'll learn ya. Whack. And now the problem is solved. See? It's like the spiky ball from your ironclad, Ron. It is very similar. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, what does that get me? Not enough for that. That will. No, oh, that was my lot. Alright. I probably need some more lightning orb generation as well, just to keep the, the numbers a bit more balanced between the two. Well, that works. Zap. Oh, 30. Jeez. Aggressive. But inconsequential, because I can generate that without even thinking. <laughs> and yes, lightning. Poison decks, also very effective. Because I feel like poison's just that little bit overpowered. At least if you've got all the, again, if you've got all the tools to make it work uh, correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, with poison, if you've got all the right pieces in place, it is very possible to just murder a boss in one round. How does the dark orb work? It targets the enemy with the lowest HP. Dead. And yeah, the time meter is a prick, but he dies to poison pretty hard. Let's get a capacitor. I like having more orb slots, and it'll work well with barrage, giving me more damage potential. Plus, even more uh, thingy potential. Uh, block potential. So, kind of tempted to do this. I do still have some of them left, but two of them are already upgraded. I can't upgrade them in any other way, true. But they're not really what I'm aiming at. I would rather remove another card, keep the deck bloke down. In fact, yeah, let's get rid of this shit. Fucking, what am I thinking of? Jesus Christ. Alright. And I hate these guys. Particularly this guy. <laughs> He's an asshole. I don't think I have the luxury of hanging around waiting for apotheosis this time. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to get cracking on it. Because if you take too long to get started on this one, he will just throw hilarious amounts of uh, damage your way. And yes, burst into upgraded catalyst is hilarious. That's how you generate the truly redonkulous poison numbers that I was referring to. Right then, this is gonna sting. That's 24, which is not even close to enough to deal with that. So let's just throw a weak potion there. That might buy me some time. 
And ideally into another catalyst, yes indeed. Blah. Ouch. The pain. I'm not too worried. I should be, um, but I'm not. Right, best run this one through as quickly as possible, and then we're going to have to leave the run here, or be dead. Whichever comes first, I suppose. Because our time is up for the evening. I mean, this guy's definitely got the potential to kill me, so... We should be concerned. Again, without the capability of doing a lot of damage, it's hard to keep his minions uh, off the board. And if you don't kill them, he keeps attacking you for increasingly large amounts of damage. So that's a problem. I might just leave it at that. Bums. It's fine. Don't worry about it. See, what, what you're doing there is worrying about it, and that's not what you should do. Yeah. I can still generate healthy amounts of block, don't you worry. And now he has three of them. Eep. Should be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is what I say when I'm panicking. So that gives us six orbs, which means I can now do 36 damage. Oh, whack, whack, whack. And then maybe die horribly. I mean, how much block is that? 32, 36, 40, 44. It's not going to be enough. We're going to need this. Hmm. Thinking about it, this sucks. <laughs> Still taking damage, even through all of that. King jeez. Problems indeed. Maybe I'll die. Or maybe I won't. I just don't know. And neither, it seems. Do you? Oh, right, that was my lot. Bring it! I'm 100% ready for all your bullshit. This is a very large number! Hmm. I think I can solve it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we have that card. Whoa! That's one of those, oh god, I'm gonna die panic moments. I think we got him now. Close one, though. Very close one. I'm still kind of relying on them. Um... Jesus. I've got to kill him, it's the only way. This one's gonna sting. Ouch. Mm -hmm. I'm totally fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I totally am, actually. Got him. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to keep going with this run, but I'm going to turn the mic off, because I have to now, <laughs> uh, for reasons. So, feel free to continue to watch the run. I'll try and interact via the chat instead, provided my enter button decides to function, which would be nice. Um, yeah, so, let's fucking rock this. Mic going off now.